I have not ice rolled in forever and I forgot how nice it feels. Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Either way, I am so glad you're here. I just dumped yesterday's coffee into a little cup and I'm gonna add some protein or I'm gonna add my vanilla protein shake into here, some more creamer. I have just had the best start to the day. I ice rolled, I have my eye patches on, and when I took Poppy out this morning, it was only 73 degrees. I have not felt that in so long, and I know we still got a couple more weeks of like summer weather, but it was just so nice to not be like immediately uncomfortable when I went outside this morning. So fall is coming. Oh. My waffles are done. Um, anyway, fall is coming and it was just nice to be reminded of that this morning. This week, I feel like it's gonna feel a little weird. I woke up this morning like super anxious and I think it's because I packed yesterday for our trip this next weekend and I'm not somebody that leaves packing till the last minute, but usually I won't pack until like two or three days before because then it's like, I feel like I'm pulling stuff out of the bag or like constantly putting stuff in because I'm using stuff throughout the week. But I packed yesterday because like Henry and I had to figure out like baggage situation because um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched the other vlogs, we're going to Acadia National Park next week and we're camping. We're bringing a lot of our camping gear. So like we're checking, I think in total, we're checking four bags. And like two of those bags are just like camping equipment. We're trying to bring as much as we can because the renting equipment is expensive. We're still renting a couple of things like a camp stove because we it's just like really hard to travel with that. But um, I packed yesterday because we had to make sure like what we had planned to put our clothes in will actually fit both of our clothes. And we kind of like changed the plan. We're like, I just have all of my camping clothes and like my regular clothes in one duffel bag. And then he packed his own bag. Originally we were gonna split them up like one bag was gonna have camp clothes and one was gonna have regular clothes because we're not camping the whole time. We're only camping half the time and then we're gonna stay in town the other half of the time. But anyway, I just like, my duffel bag is just like sitting open in my room and it has stuff in it. And like, I'm not packed, but like I have most of my stuff together and I don't know, I think it's just like feel unfinished. I think it's making me a little nervous. <laughs> Also, I have not slept well this weekend, so there's that. I still determined to make this Monday a good morning. I'm feeling good. I'm just gonna have a slow morning. I've got about like 45 minutes before I need to log on, so I'm just gonna sit, eat my breakfast, maybe watch some YouTube, and just like ease into today. just been prepping for this Monday meeting we have at noon every week and I don't know if I've talked like a lot about my job yet I can't remember if I've really like told you guys what I do or not um so I thought I would explain it here uh my position title is digital analyst and I think that can mean like a lot of different things at a lot of different companies but where I work I work for um a retail company so I work in corporate retail in the retail industry and basically my job's role, my AC just kicked on, hold on. Basically my job's role is I am responsible for anything with the customer that has to do with the digital side of our business. So if you think about the word digital, okay, hey Poppy, Poppy just like hopped up on my lap. like. <laughs> um, if you think about the digital side of business, that can mean anything from like promos that are emailed to a customer to how that customer is interacting with the site. If it's an online order, what did the like shipping and delivery process look like for them? And then also surveys that get sent out to customers. Uh, there's a couple of surveys 
that could be sent. It could be like, you could take a survey on the site, like how's your site experience going? Or you could have a survey after you purchase something, you know, like how was your purchase? Would you recommend? So my job kind of revolves around just like all the data and analytics behind a digital journey for a customer. And my team is made up of just like a bunch of other customer analysts. So we have me for digital, we have someone else for retail. We've got data scientists on the team. We have a program manager and a director. Um, but basically my wheelhouse is the customer and their digital experience. So what I've been doing this Monday is um, every Monday we do like a retro of the week before and we just talk about last week, like any trends we were seeing or like any friction points, um, anything that's causing concern or something that went really well that we want to report on. So the first half of my Monday is usually just like going in and looking at survey responses and like journeys and um, customer comments, anything like that, just to kind of like get a gauge on what happened last week and see if I can figure out either if something was wrong, what was it? Or if something was doing really well, like how can we alert the appropriate team to like keep doing it? Uh, sorry if that's a little vague. I like don't really want to share specifics just for like privacy reasons for me and my company. Uh, but that's just like a little bit about what I do. Anybody else's dog do this? Like the minute I start talking to either the camera or someone on a meeting, like Poppy has to hop up and be in my lap and be a part of the conversation. Like if I'm just sitting here working, minding my own business, she literally doesn't give a shit. But the minute I start talking, she is like demanding to be front and center. Okay, I have a logged off for today. I logged off a little bit early because I actually did end up working through lunch, which is fine because I would have rather leave early and then go on a run after work. So I think that is what I'm going to do now. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna throw a hair mask in my hair, drink a little bit of a Snelsius. A Snelsius. <laughs> gonna drink a little bit of a Celsius and eat a snack and get my run in. All right, well, my plan to go run is a bust uh, because the AC is out in my apartment's gym, <laughs> which is great. I am very frustrated, not because the AC is out. I mean, that sucks, but I've just had like a lot of problems with my apartment lately and this is just like pushing me to the tipping point. I'm trying to remain calm. I went and picked up a package from the leasing office and I just got a refill on my Bondi Sands, uh, the one hour express tanner, except came with the cap open, which I don't love. It doesn't look like it leaked anywhere though, that's good. And I got a new mitt. Um, I'd like just buy a new mitt every time I buy a new bottle. Like they are reusable, but like after like six or seven uses, like you should probably switch them out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I like just drink some Celsius and had a snack. So I was planning on running and it's only like 90 degrees outside. So like technically I could run outside, but it's like really, really hot still. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. <sighs> I guess what I'm gonna do instead is cook dinner and then maybe I'll like flip my Monday and Tuesday. Tuesdays I will usually climb and do like strength training. So maybe I'll just do like my strength training. Um, I've been doing some stuff to like help strengthen my knees for running. So maybe I'll do that today and hope the AC is fixed tomorrow. I'm just really upset. <laughs> Hey, I'm done pouting and I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and cook my dinner tonight. I'm making one of my favorites. I'm gonna make um, a bag salad. This is just the avocado toast bag salad from Target. Then I'm making my chicken sausage pasta and all that is is smoked chicken sausage pasta. If I had kale, I would put kale in it, but I don't, so we're skipping it. And then some Rao's spicy marinara sauce. Um, I usually like to use the Trader Joe's chicken sausage. The sweet Italian is my favorite, but I don't have that. I just have this Andouille chicken sausage from Target. So that is what we're working with. It's super easy. Um, I'll show you guys like clips of the steps. I cannot catch a break. My salad is bad. <laughs> ah, why is everything happening today? Um, 
I guess I'm just gonna have pasta for dinner. <laughs> okay, so step one would have been to mix the bag salad and then stick it in the fridge so it can sit out. Next, um, I just filled up my pot with water. I'm gonna get that boiling, and while I'm waiting for it to boil, I'm gonna cut up my chicken sausage. the lighting is like shit because it's, it's it's late there's I just don't have good lighting at night in my apartment um but I've washed my hair as you can see and I've just been winding down and I have like a tickle in my throat and it's like making me cough a lot and I noticed like my nose was feeling a little stuffy earlier so I really hope I'm not getting sick that would suck so I'm just gonna try and go to bed early it's like a little after nine right now I'm gonna make a cup of tea I'm usually not a tea person but I feel like this calls for one and just like try and get some rest and hopefully I'll be feeling better tomorrow um, I hate that I'm feeling like this whenever I feel like this I either get like a really bad cold or some kind of like throat infection so I'm really hoping I like caught it early enough. I took some medicine. Um, gosh, you can already tell my voice count sounds kind of hoarse too. This is not good. Oh. Um, I took some medicine. I'm just gonna try and go to bed and rest and hope we caught it early enough. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday um, and I woke up. I'm not feeling worse, which is good. I'm not feeling better either though. I still have like a tickle in my throat and I'm feeling some like pressure this morning. Like my ears keep popping. Now we are just working from bed. Um, I don't feel like that bad to where like I need to take off a day from work. And honestly, like work is a nice distraction. <laughs> so I'm probably not gonna take off work, but if I start feeling worse throughout the day, I will. Um, I just hope this is a fluke and it's not a cold or something because I really don't want to be sick for our trip. <laughs> also, I did something new today. I uploaded a video on a Tuesday. If you haven't caught on, I usually upload on Fridays and honestly, I feel like more of you guys watch on Saturdays anyway, so I might change to Saturday. Uh, but I had another video in queue and I needed to free up some space. So I posted today. So maybe we'll do like a, I'll upload on Fridays or Saturdays. And if I have a bonus video, I'll upload it on a Tuesday. I don't know. Um, let me guys know what you think. What days do you guys usually watch videos on? I moved to my desk for a little bit because I had two meetings that I just like needed both screens for. Um... And I got some liquid IV, we're trying to stay hydrated. But I just like started feeling a little flushed, which makes me nervous. I'm wondering if I should go take my temperature, but I kind of like like being blissfully ignorant if I do have a fever, um, cause that would suck. And I'm still trying to rest up because one thing Henry wanted to do on his birthday was go climbing, which is something we do on Tuesdays anyway. So like. It wouldn't be like a big deal if I missed it, but like it's his birthday and I know we celebrated this weekend, but like I at least wanted to do something he wants to do since he has to work on his birthday, but if I have a fever, I'm not going to do that. But I should, okay, I'm going to go take my temperature. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. I took my temperature and I'm healthy. I was like 98.3 or something, which is way far away from a fever. So we don't have to worry about being that kind of sick. I honestly just think I'm run down. Um, and also, okay, this is going to sound weird. The last two days, the high has only been like 89 or 90, which means like it's felt nice outside. But sometimes like when the weather changes really quickly, so it's been going from like 100 to 89, my like 
allergies and my sinuses will act up so I wonder if it's that I'm really hoping it's that because that means like in a couple days I'll be over it but we're just gonna rest and we're just going to prioritize just resting today and hopefully we feel better to go climbing later I'm usually not this weird about being sick or like this anal about it but I just like really don't want to be sick right before our trip uh there's just like things I need to get done this week and I can't do them if I'm not feeling well I'm back in bed. I'm just drinking my afternoon protein coffee and I'm feeling a little better. I still feel like this tickle in my throat. I've noticed when I've been like talking for an extended amount of time today, my voice goes hoarse. It just feels really dry. So I'm like banking on this just being allergies. So I've just been taking like my allergy medicine and I think it's helping a little, I don't really know, but I'm just gonna keep doing that and just like rest. Um, I'm not feeling flushed anymore, which is really, really good. I think I was just like overwhelmed with my work today or something. I don't know, but feeling better, hoping this stays and hoping this tickle goes away. I'm probably going to make some tea later. Um, but yeah, just a pretty boring day. Uh, it's actually been pretty busy at work. So I've been like pretty distracted, which is nice. Um, I haven't really like noticed my throat until I start talking or like if I take a break from the screen or something. So yeah, so far so good, I think. I swear I have moved, but I, I, kick, I got back in bed. It's like five minutes till five. So I'm about to log off, but I just got some voice messages from my best friend, Molly. Molly, if you're watching this, hi. Um, and I just want to remind you guys, if you have a long distance bestie, if you guys didn't know, Molly lives in Dallas now and I miss her all the time, every day, but voice message your friends. I always forget that is a thing and I am somebody that's just like horrible at FaceTiming and calling someone. I'm not even really that good at texting either. It's like really bad at keeping up over the phone, um, but voice messages are just so easy to do and you can just like, it's like calling, but they can answer it when it's convenient for them and vice versa. Um, so if you have a long distance bestie or just a bestie you haven't seen in a while, send them a voice message and let them know that you're thinking about them. I just got to my car and I am headed to the climbing gym because I'm not feeling like 100% still, but I think I feel like well enough to climb. I think maybe some movement will help me because I've literally been in bed almost all day. And that I feel like that either helps or hurts me half the time. So we are doing that. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna top rope today, but I think Henry wants to try the partner climb again. If you watched my last vlog, you saw like Henry and I have like the first few moves, but he wants to work on the rest of it. I don't know if we'll ever actually be able to do it just cause like I am not as strong as him and there's some moves that require some like serious strength. Um, but yeah, that is on the agenda. And then I'm gonna come home and I kind of want to do like a quick tidy of my kitchen cause I have neglected some dishes over the last two days. Just realize, I think this is the first time I'm leaving my apartment since Sunday and it's now Tuesday. Yeah, I don't think I left my apartment yesterday. Yeah, haven't left my apartment in two days. That is the reality when you have a fully remote job. <laughs> up on some emails from the couch I logged on about 10 minutes ago and I am feeling a lot better today if you can tell I'm still a little congested but I really think just like spending yesterday in bed was the best thing for me I ended up climbing last night felt great I don't think I mentioned this but I did take a COVID test when I started feeling under the weather and it was negative so like we're all good there I do have a couple more tests so I'm probably going to take another one either Thursday or Friday before we leave for our trip but I'm feeling a lot better. Like I already feel like I'm on the on the mend. I really think it was just like allergies and the temperature change. So that's good. 
But today we have a lot to do. Um, I'm going to be like heads down for most of the day, just like trying to get some stuff out to people before I go on PTO. Um, just because like I'll be gone all next week. I just want to get people what they need before I'm gone. So like I'm not coming back to a lot of like questions or like urgent things. So just doing that today and just tidying up around the apartment, casually checking, make sure I have everything for my trip. I think I'm going to do another like in-depth run through of my packing list either today or tomorrow. And um, yeah, the goal is to go on, go for a run today. I don't know if the AC is back in my apartment gym or not, but fingers crossed. Well, afternoon now, and I just took a quick lunch break, and honestly, my lunch was so weird today. I'm in like such a funky mood with food lately. Like nothing today has sounded good. Like this morning, I just had Greek yogurt and my protein coffee, and I like didn't even want the yogurt, but like nothing else was appealing. And for lunch, I had like a little bit of potato salad some pretzels. I like tried to make mac and cheese, but like it didn't turn out good. <laughs> and then um, I just had like half of a protein bar and now I'm drinking a poppy. Um, like I said, it has just been a busy day. I still got quite a bit to do before I log off, but I am just gonna try and like grind through it so I can get off at a reasonable time and I really want to run after work today so that is kind of like my motivator I just gosh I feel like I'm like floating through today and sometimes that feeling is nice because it makes the day go by faster but I like looked up and it was noon and I was like what have I done today and I've done a lot but I've just been like so sucked in so Definitely gonna try, I mean, lunch, taking a lunch break was good. I just like stepped away from the screen for like 30 minutes. Um, I might take like another 30 minute break later, but yeah, we're doing okay. I'm just like constantly, like there's a list in my head of like everything that needs to get done before we leave on Saturday. And I'm trying to like compartmentalize it cause like everything will get done. I literally have two and a half more days before we leave. Like I'm totally fine. Um, just. I always get like a little anxious and antsy before trips and like once I am in the car or once I'm like through TSA I'm fine but honestly until then I'm kind of just like a little bit like in a stress fit and that's just how it is and I'm just reminding myself I'm like this is just like my body reacting to traveling like I love traveling but I'm always just like a little anxious and it's it's fine we're fine everything is okay. Okay, we've officially logged off. It is five o'clock and I am heating up some leftover pasta for dinner. It's a little early to be eating dinner, but honestly, like I didn't have a true lunch. So I'm just gonna eat now and then run like maybe in an hour or so. I am just like so exhausted from <laughs> today. I don't know what it was. Um, I just like am super just mentally drained. So I'm gonna eat this pasta and watch a little TV and let my brain relax and then go for a run. Wow, that was such a good run. Um, I had not ran since last Friday and it is now Wednesday. So I was a little nervous about how this run was gonna go and I just did like super easy two miles. I ran at like, like a 12, 30 pace or something that's the other thing um I am not a fast runner like I probably average like anywhere between like 11 30 and 12 30 sometimes even 13 minute miles um I don't really run for speed I honestly like I just started running because I wanted to run the half marathon in my city and out of that I think I became like a runner where I will probably keep up with, with running after the race is over but like my goal for that half marathon is to just finish like I want to be able to finish it in under like four-ish hours that's going to include some walking and some slow running that's just how I am that's I mean like running is fun for me that's how I keep it fun like I'm not tied to any kind of time or pace or anything like I just want to finish it and I just enjoy running I feel like running has become super I mean running's always been popular but I feel like it is very like dominant in like the fitness social media aspect of like everything I don't know <laughs> and 
it's totally fine to run for time and distance and pace and everything, but I love just being able to normalize like just running what feels comfortable to you, what feels easy. I'm not somebody that does like speed workouts or like meters or anything. I just like run how it feels good to me and it works for me. So if you are intimidated starting, or if you're intimidated by starting to run or anything like that, I'm just here to tell you there's no pressure to run any certain distance at any certain time or any certain pace. Like, just do what feels good to you. And maybe running doesn't feel good to you and that's fine too. Um, I just wanted to share like, by no means am I a professional runner or anything. Um, I'm just doing it for fun and it's something I enjoy. So I'm just gonna drink this liquid IV. And honestly, I didn't get like super sweaty. Like I feel like I could just blow dry the sweat out of my hair and save this, which would be good. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I have my retainers in, so sorry if it sounds weird. <laughs> but um, I finished uh, the summer of Broken Rules and I really liked it. It was very cute. Um, and now, I'm trying to decide if I want to read Meet Me at the Lake, which is the sequel to Every Summer After, or my book club is reading The Fourth Wing and we have to have it read, I think in like four weeks, so I'm like, should I start on that? Or should I get like one more fun read and then start on that? Because I just feel like I'm going to devour The Fourth Ring because um, I literally read the entire Akatar series in like a month and a half so I feel like once I start reading it I'm not gonna be able to stop um so I guess I should read Meet Me at the Lake if I start now I could probably like finish it on our trip next week and then when I get back I could read the fourth wing hmm. I got such a horrible amount of sleep last night <laughs> like went to bed I think around 10 or 10 30 and I woke up at like 3.30 or 3.45 and could not go back to bed. I don't know what it was. Like I just could not get myself to go back to bed. So I tried for like an hour and finally I just gave up and was looking at stuff on my phone and I like lulled myself back to sleep, I think at like six. And then I woke up at eight and I just feel like like a zombie. <laughs> I do not feel awesome. Um, I had planned to wake up early today and work out before work because I have some stuff to do after work and that obviously is not happening. Um, so yeah. If this doesn't show you what kind of sleep I had last night, I don't know what will. <laughs> Okay, so day has not started according to plan, obviously. I am just going to make some protein coffee and eat a quick breakfast, start my work day. I think the new plan is going to be, I am going to take a true lunch break today and um, self tan during lunch um, because tonight, I have a dinner I have to go to and that'll just be that. We're probably not going to work out today and that's okay. Um, I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I am going to run tomorrow. I know that and we're just going to go <laughs> with how we're feeling today. Um, I'm still a little congested. I think you can tell. I'm still taking decongestants and I feel fine. I'm gonna take another COVID test today probably just to make sure I'm in the clear, but I, honestly, I'm fine. Uh, I really just think it's allergies. And when I woke up this morning, it was like 70 degrees and like breezy outside. So that like definitely confirmed my suspicion that this is allergy related. Um, anyway, yeah, not an ideal start to the day, but I'm gonna try and not let it ruin my day. I know sometimes I talk about like the downsides of working from home and like not being able to get out of the house but one of the best things about working from home is like today I'm trying to get ready for the trip so like I'm working but simultaneously I'm like also doing laundry and I'm getting dishes clean and I'm like tidying up the apartment which is something like I definitely couldn't do 
if I was in the office and it's just like giving me a lot of peace of mind just to like cross things off my list throughout the day and like I'm still getting my work done it's just like nice to be able to do some of this and not have it just like sitting in my head like oh my gosh Peyton you need to do that because I'm getting it done I am aware I look a little cuckoo <laughs> I took my lunch break and did my shower and now I'm sitting in my self tan clothes just letting myself tan marinate. This is another thing I love about working from home is I can do something like this and still get my work done, which is really nice. Uh, I've probably got like an hour-ish left for this to sit before I wash it off. So I'll be able to be showered and washed off by the time I have my dinner plans tonight, which will be nice. I'm thinking of also stopping by REI tonight on the way to dinner because uh, I, ha I used to have a water bottle. You guys have seen it in plenty of videos, the blue one with all the stickers on it. Um, I wash it probably like every week and I opened it up the other day to wash it and there was mold in it and I immediately threw it out. I do not mess with mold. I can't do it. Uh, so I threw out my water bottle, which means I need a new one because we will be camping and hiking and everything next week. And um, I have a Nalgene. I don't love like Nalgene's for hiking and stuff, but like they're fine. But I think if I have time, I'm gonna go to REI and pick up a new water bottle. Uh, so I have one for my trip. Oh my gosh, you guys, the day just like completely got away from me. I basically worked like right up until five and like zipped out of here. Um, was able to stop at REI before my dinner plans and I got a new water bottle. I got this purple Hydro Flask. Sorry if you can hear squeaking. Poppy is like playing with her squeaky toys. I just got home and she's like cuckoo. Um, I am not a purple person usually but I just wanted something different and this was like the only color that appealed to me in the store. So I got it and I'm excited. I just got like the 32 ounce like the one everyone has. Um, and I'm glad they had some in stock because I really need one for my trip. And now I'm going to wash it. I also, I love Hydro Flask, but I don't like that they don't sell like different colored lids and they sell boots, but like not a ton. So I think I'm gonna order on Amazon, like either like a yellow or a green or an orange lid or something just to make it a little more fun. Um, but I'm gonna wash this and then let it sit out overnight so it can dry out. There were a couple things I didn't get to do tonight and I actually might do one of them now. Yeah, it's not even nine o'clock, I can do it now. I always like to clean out my fridge before I travel and then I'll like take out my trash and do the dishes and everything so like nothing is sitting out and nothing can like get yucky or gross while I'm gone. Um, so I'm gonna clean out my fridge really quick and take out my trash. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait to do that tomorrow cause like I am eating lunch here tomorrow and I'm just gonna have more trash then. So yeah, I'm gonna wait to do that. I was able to finish all my laundry though, which makes me feel so much better. I feel like making sure you do your laundry before your trip is like the most um, nerve wracking part for me. Cause like we gotta make sure we got our underwear and our bras and everything and we have enough for all the days. I'm one of those people that packs like four pairs of underwear per day. Cause you just never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> um, all right, I am going to wash my water bottle and put on some PJs and I might read a little bit. I did start uh, Meet Me at the Lake last night and I I don't not like it. It's just a little hard for me to get into. Um, I loved Every Summer After, so I'm kind of shocked that I'm not like devouring this, but maybe I just wasn't in the right headspace when I started reading it. So I'm gonna try and read a little more tonight and get into that. Actually, you know what? I feel like I don't even really remember what I read last night. I was so distracted when I was reading. I might just like start over again. I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Happy Friday. We are almost to the weekend. I woke up this morning and it was like the most beautiful weather outside. It was like 65 and it was like a little windy and it was cloudy and it just felt so lovely. So Henry and I went and picked up a coffee and breakfast. Now I'm back and I'm about to log on. Um, today I'm just really trying to tie up some loose ends at work. Also make sure everything is set for the trip because after I log off, I'm gonna try and log off early today. I've got to drive out to the suburbs to drop Poppy off at my parents and I'm gonna get dinner with them since I won't see them for a week. 
And then I'm probably gonna stay at Henry's tonight and then we'll go to the airport Saturday morning. I'm so excited. There's a couple things I still have to do today. I need to clean out my fridge because I didn't do that last night because I'm going to have stuff I need for today. And I need to clean all my dishes and pick up Poppy's food and stuff off the ground so it's not just sitting out for a week and just make sure everything is ready for me to go. Um, I'm really excited. I just gotta get through it today. I can do it. If it's Friday for you, you can do it. Um, let's just, let's, let's get through it together. <laughs> I feel like I am just giving chaotic energy today. <laughs> I think I drank my coffee too fast this morning because I feel very strung out and very just like ah, all over the place. Uh, I took a quick 10 minute break and ate some food and uh, took out all my trash and cleaned out my fridge, which made me feel a whole lot better. And I got all of Poppy's stuff together because I'm taking her to my parents tonight and I'm so sad I'm leaving her. I'm gonna miss her so much. I know she's gonna be fine though. She like loves visiting my parents. Uh, gonna hop back on work for a little bit and then I will take like a longer break and go on a run. Not a super long run. I honestly just like don't have enough time to run more than like two or three miles. So that is what we're gonna go for today. And then come back and shower, get a little more work done. And then I'm gonna try and log off around four so I can take Poppy to my parents after work and beat some of the traffic. I feel like I just need to take a sec and breathe. Like everything is fine. Everything is like already packed. Like I have everything together. I always get like this the day before we travel. It could be like a 30 minute travel day or like a day long travel day like this. And I just always get a little antsy, but I am fine. Everything is fine. I've checked my list a thousand times. Like we're all good. I just need to chill out. Okay, I am fresh out of the shower, sipping, sipping on some liquid IV and i'm starting to come to terms with the fact that i really need to try and be a morning runner i i just haven't been able to crack the code on like waking up early enough figuring out what to eat before actually doing the run and then like carrying on throughout the day after that but i just keep finding like after work my days are getting like more busy and it would just be easier if i could run in the morning so Maybe when I'm back from my trip, we will attempt to do that. I don't really know. This could all just, this could just be all talk and I actually don't change anything. Um, but I just like feel like my run today felt really rushed and I didn't like it. Uh, I felt like I like had to hurry and get back and shower and everything. So maybe we'll start trying to do something different. Also, I'm so annoyed. I've got this like annoying little breakout on my nose right there. And if you guys get breakouts like in the creases of your nose, it is so annoying because you just like feel them all the time. And I feel like it's just, it's just there. So I just put some tanning drops on. I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna put a pimple patch on there. Hopefully it'll at least like keep it from getting even more red, but that is just like the most annoying spot. And also like I've been blowing my nose a lot so I wouldn't be surprised if that's why like I broke out right there but it's just so freaking annoying anyway I'm gonna go put on some clothes and then hop back on work and we're making pretty good time it's like one o'clock now I uh, got three about I got about three more hours gonna wrap up some stuff load my car and then we'll be done I also, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but it, maybe it's because sometimes like when I go on vacation, I work for part of it. But like this whole time I've been like super excited for my trip and just like excited to go to Acadia. But in my mind, I don't think I was really acknowledging the fact that like, yes, you get to travel. Yes, you get to go on this trip, but like also you don't have to work while you're there. Like, I don't know why that was so, that was just like a nice little happy moment this morning. I was like, wait, like, yes, I'm going, but also like, I don't have to work at all while I'm there. Like I'm taking the whole week off. I don't know if you, I don't know if that's weird or not. It's just like sometimes vacations aren't always like full vacations for me. Like a lot of times I do travel with my work computer and either like work on the travel days or like work one day long there, but like I am not taking anything. Like we are fully unplugged and I'm excited. It is officially the weekend now, guys. Ooh, let the vacation and PTO begin. I am just gonna pack up my car and head over to my parents. And I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I am going to start a new one tomorrow. I'm going to attempt to vlog our whole trip. We'll see 
how that works out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this work week in my life. I always have so much fun filming these for you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean so much to me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.